Uh, my name is Tyler Webb, and this is Stony Pond Farm in Fairfield, Vermont. We're a 100% uh, certified organic, grass-based, uh, diversified dairy. Uh, dairy farming is primarily our, our, our main enterprise. We milk a little over 35 to 40 cows seasonally, so we're unique in that aspect, 100% seasonal herd, and that we calve in the middle of March, milk all the way till January, and then both the cows and us get a little bit of a vacation for the winter. Renewable energy and, and organic farming, or farming in general, you know, we're, we're stewards of the land. This is our job, and we're, we walk around and we're connected to the land and, and very aware and very in tune into environmental changes and what's happening. And so we were lucky to take advantage of some programs, both with the state and federal programs that were available to get farmers involved with renewable energy. And, you know, we're sitting up here on a ridge all by ourselves. So wind was one that was, was a pretty good option. And the contribution of the windmill in terms of our total power consumption, it's, it's represented about 40 to 50%. It's, it's been pretty significant. Yeah, real benefit. And then one of the more significant consumers of power from, a, from the dairy perspective is our hot water consumption for the cleaning of the facilities and the pipeline system. We're using 180 degree water. And previous to the solar hot water system, the water would come in from the well at 43 degrees in temperature and immediately get attempted to get boosted by an electric hot water heater up to 180 degrees, when in fact we didn't even really need that water for 12 hours. So the solar hot water system, now the water goes from the well into a tank where it's heated by the sun up to 140 degrees and then boosted to 180. And so the combination of the wind turbine and the solar hot water was a real significant energy savings. And it's made a lot of sense. My job basically is to wake up every day and walk around a beautiful place and try to figure out how to, how to make it better for myself, make it better for my cows, make it better for the environment, um, for water quality, for air, for, for everything, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a big giant art canvas 